Monica. Come on. I like your style. She's out enjoying the morning sun here uh, with my daughter. She is right there. <laughs> uh, apparently we're headed into one of the hottest weeks or the hottest week of the summer right now. Um, it's almost the end of July and we're just getting the hottest week. Wow. I think last year our hottest days were like in May and then again in July. So uh, I am excited about that. However, I'm not used to the 30 degree uh, Celsius weather anymore. So <laughs> should be interesting. I think I'm going to go find myself a nice place to hang out and maybe a pool. Can I just say guys, look at the color of our grass. So all this rain this year is just awesome. And check that out. That's what our lawn would look like if we did not. a.m. I don't know had got in the mood that I wanted to go paint our door so we went to Canadian Tire got some premier paint so this is the premier exterior paint collection and we are gonna go with the crimson red on our greenhouse might look Christmassy I don't know or it might look really good we'll see it's just paint garden starting to do really good uh, pumpkin patch is all of a sudden blown up it is really behind this year uh, due to all the rain. However, now we've had about a week of straight 30 degree Celsius weather and now things are starting to come. Cucumbers, we've got the peas, my zucchini. I have harvested quite a bit already and there's still quite a few in there. Um, excited about that. Look how big some of them are. Need to pull them out. Tomatoes are looking pretty good. Tons in there. <laughs> Squash is really struggling this year, but it looks like it's finally going to sprout. Um, a few right here. There's a big but, one But right yeah, here. really behind from previous years. I guess this is how farmers feel. You never really know what you're going to get every year, but uh, you make it work. And then, of course, we have our spinach, our red lettuce, our kale. There's beets and carrots. Pretty dense in here. Looking forward to the harvest. No, don't touch oh, him. Ladybug, be careful. Be nice. Is that a ladybug? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Did that scare you? Be nice. All right, so we're going to start by painting this door today. Um, they've never actually been painted. Our house is about five years old. Uh, you see all the speckling and stuff. So let's clean them up and see what we uh, come out with. These are all 
That's why there's already paint on them. I'm gonna use them in the spring and fall to help cover my garden from frost. I didn't say that. No. <laughs> Bet you can't guess what color it is. I already showed them. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Oh, it's one of those paints. Ah, uh, dark colors are hard to paint. I'm gonna go over the whole door now with a roller, and then the second coat will be with a brush to get a nice smooth coat. final project. Now I'll just get some new uh, doorknobs there. I had trouble with that word for a second. Sometimes words can be hard. And going over to the other one. It's looking good. Now all I need to do is we need to get some stuff to finish off down by our deck, finish that area off, and then we want to build a flower bed up here next year, a built-in brick flower bed of some sort. But it's slowly coming together, it takes time. You wanna water some plants, kiddo? Plants. Put it in, put it in there. Oh, put it no, in there. get it in. <laughs> kiddo, put it back in the hole. Put it back in. Pick it up, put it she back in. She had to eat a bit of her carrot. Fill up there so we can go water mom's plants up front. Lilies are starting to come in nice and pretty. The next step that we'll have to do is go along and re-silicone all our doors before winter. Uh, general house maintenance. You taking the watering can back to the garden for mommy? With all this hot weather we've had over the last uh, 10 days, uh, we were bound to get some storms eventually. If you guys liked today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, we shall see you guys soon.